All right, we're back. Multi-Man Publishing, Standard Combat Series, North Africa, Operation Crusader <coughs> scenario. First turn, first activation, British full activation. And uh, I finished their movement. I'm going to show the combat here in a second. Um, I did use both airstrikes um, available on a full activation. And one succeeded. Uh, these two units that were right here before. So the New Zealanders successfully overran them, forced them to lose a step and retreat towards the nearest path. The second airstrike was here. It did not succeed. Therefore, um, instead of using Campbell and just the 7th Brigade, maybe I would have done an overrun. Instead, we're going to settle for a set piece with a barrage here. So... Those units are in position, so we're going to do barrages here, hopefully, and force these units back, but not advance, because these are all exploit-capable units. want to keep them out of Zoc. <clears throat> the other thing did with some uh, fancy movement, um, I was able, and I got the movement trail here, but I'm not going to count it, but yes, this unit with 14 movement could get all the way to here, which put him behind. Oh, this is crazy. <clears throat> the recon battalion of the of the 21st Panzer, and then I tried desperately to get this guy here to get him surrounded, but then I realized, oh, the armored car can do it. So this armored car successfully got here, which now gives us um, zones of control all around. So <clears throat> even if he retreats, he's going to lose a step. But we're going to do the barrage to increase the odds, because right now 6 and 7 is 13 to 4 is only 3 to 1. So if we get this, though, we get better odds. So that's the big attacks against 21st Panzer. This one's going to be tough because of the anti-tank unit. Hoping the barrage will be successful. The New Zealanders are pushing their attack, and if if it works out, um, if this guy retreats and then this guy retreats, then these units have got reasonable overrun stacks for the exploit phase. So that's the main event over here. Um, we also want to clear this guy off the road, so that'll free up these uh, Royal Tank Regiment units, Matilda's probably, along with the 22nd Guard, and the Indian Division here to uh, potentially, if all goes well, just they're the ones who can drive up here and take Bardia and trap these Frontier units, hopefully. Um, and at the end of the turn, out of supply, they risk the chance of surrendering. So we're going to try and trap these guys and come up here, but that all depends on what happens here. So again, that's the main attack. Um, down here, over here, I got the South Africans screening ARD. Um, I'm also sending some South African armored cars to just kind of screen here. I'm going to use the uh, armored car screening rule where they can retreat at least twice. So I'm going to use that rule. So that's going to cover there. And then... Uh, just for the heck of it, I put this guy up here. They're going to be able to exploit, and uh, at least the armored car, with that retreat rule, maybe park them right here or something, just totally disrupt the movement, because these guys would have to come around here. Or they could uh, come down here and trap this guy. So they've got some flexibility here to do stuff. So I think that's the British move in a nutshell. Um, so it's the end of the movement phase. We've got our three barrages that we're going to do. Um, so let's see. All right, so I saved everything. So let's clear the movement markers. There we go. So let's just roll right across here for the barrages. I've got the handy dandy die roller. Okay, so starting here, got to roll a one through four. Nobody's in uh, four. Fort. So let's see if we get lucky. Not him. That's the big one. Not, I mean, come on. Okay, and the last one. Do we at least. Okay, we got one. Let's see if he takes a step loss on a five or six. No, of course not. All right, well, I'll just play it. So this guy is disorganized, but both these guys are full strength, so 
Let's get the barrages out of here. That is annoying. So let's think about this. If I attack here first, but I'm not going to advance, but he's not going to retreat, we'll force him down here. Just deciding if there's any value in. Well, let's do this one. Let's go for success here. Uh, this is 4, 11, 13 to 4. 13 to 2, 6 to off the scale, 5 to 1. So let's get the CRT up and do the 5 to 1 here. Uh, let's get the handy dandy die roller. Should just pull it off and then do two. Can't believe the luck on those barrages. I really needed this one, but that's going to be a problem. Anyway, high uh, five to one plus and the roll. Gosh, they can't roll good. Doesn't matter. If they lose one step, they have to retreat. They're eliminated. So. Lead. Um, I guess that's send a rebuild cup. Well, we won't have a time to rebuild, so I'm just going to move him off here. That's just a dead unit. All right, so they were able to take this, so now we have to decide how far they can advance, or if they advance at all. Actually, this guy advances to get out of this guy's sock so he can do exploitation. All right, since they're exploit capable, first hex have to be here, so why would this guy move here when he's going to go there? But let's do this guy here, so we got our exploit overrun. Oh, yeah, let's just throw him in. So that means that's a 13 for an exploit overrun. Okay. Um, let's think about this. No, I don't want to go there. Well, that does block there, so go in there and blocks there anyhow, so. I don't know, if we get lucky and win this, then we've got zones of controls around this guy. So I guess we'll do this one first. And first, I forgot this last time, but let's see if Campbell doesn't come out of this. So we got the leader loss, Campbell, die roll, two dice. How does Campbell do? A five. He lives. Good deal. So, we got a straight up um, 17. That gets us a 3 to 1, and that's not enough to round up. Needed to get to 18 to do that. That's 2 up, yeah. So, it's a 4 to 1. So, a 4 to 1. Here we go. Let's pull up the handy dandy. Can't stop. See if they can roll better than 5s. Well, that, that time they did. 4 to 1 on 9 is a D2. D2. Bye bye. R3. That is awesome. They are destroying 21st Panzer. Um, let's think about this. Hold on. All right, this is a tough one here. Um, if he does advance here, he'll be immobilized by this Zock. And he could advance all the way to here to cut off the guy's retreat route, but unless they're completely eliminated... No, he's got to stay there because he wants to do something during exploit. Looks like our second exploit capable attacking um, overrun, 14-17. Maybe they could go there. So he's not going to go. He's going to wait. So then we got our last attack here. This is the ugly one. 12, 18. 21 to, unfortunately, 13 is 2 to 1. And that's attacking down. So we got to roll for leader loss first. This, that would be a bummer. 4. Didn't lose the leader. So this is a three to one. They really want to roll high on this one. So here we go. Um, again, the disappearing die roller. So we got three to one on this guy. Let's see what happens. Roll high, roll high, go New Zealand. Six, that's uh Whoa, cut that one close. D1, R1. Um. See what this does. 4, 3, 2, 2, 15. 
or if we uh, 310 goes to five. Okay, interesting choice. All right, D1, R1, they're gonna lose a step and they'd have to retreat here. But if they take the R as a loss and hold, that will prevent these units from exploiting, which is what they're gonna do. They're gonna take the extra loss. They're probably gonna die but now these units can't do anything in the exploit phase. So that was kind of a loss there. So anyway, let's move down here. One more attack. Uh, the big attack on the fortress here. We got four, six, ten, ten, and all the Matildas. Nineteen and four is twenty-three to six. That's close enough to twenty-four. That's a four to one round up. So we got a four to one, no leaders involved. Let's see what happens. Six, boy, they're rolling boring. D1, R2, um, doesn't matter, this guy is gone. He loses a step and then he has to retreat, so he's gone. Let's see what he looks like, yeah. Okay, so that guy's gone. And this is a built fort and it disappears, I think. Yeah, and then um, let's see, these guys, this guy, well, I think we're going to make this guy advance, because then he can quickly drive up the road, and then, uh, well, let's just make this guy advance, this is messy, and then two of these guys, and that didn't work, oh boy, got yeah, movement trails on too, let's get rid of that. All right, let's do it this way. One, two. That's good. I'll have to check to see if trucks can advance. But this puts them all on the road to assist here next turn. Because all the Germans can do next turn is react. And these guys are posed to pin down everybody. That's our goal here. So that we can get one more act uh, activation. But then... Man, that is too bad about these guys. Um, I'd be tempted to use them to overrun here, but now they're stuck. So maybe this guy can swing around and overrun him. Um, but they're still pretty strong. Seven. Yeah, that's seven. And this is uh, not good odds. Hmm. And all they can do is... Yeah, man. That really took the teeth out. They could have done a lot of damage. Anyway, I think that's everywhere. Yeah, we're not attacking here. So I think that is the end of, and we're not doing anything in Tobruk. I looked at it. I mean, we don't want to take inadvertent losses for no reason. We got good defenses here. I think they're doubled or tripled or something. The only unit I could attack is this guy, and that's going nowhere. Um, but then these guys... This is, this is the route in. I mean, they're going to hit here and go. So next is the exploit phase and desperate defense by 21st Panzer here, even though they did lose some strong units. Um, so we'll see that. And that kind of took the teeth out of being able to overrun. Um, this would have been the ultimate overrun stack. I don't know if there's any other low-hanging fruit here for overrun. I don't see any worthwhile, especially since we can't do barrages or soften them up. So the exploit phase may be more just kind of pinning the Germans from responding before the next full activation. So, um, reasonably successful. Inflicted losses on 21st Panzer. Um, reasonable movement of their positions, but this, this place... I think this place, well, no, it just resisted the barrage. So they didn't get good rolls on their barrages. Too bad. All right, so when we come back, um, it will be the British exploit phase. I'll probably go ahead and do that move offline. Um, and then maybe that'll roll right into the German uh, required reaction phase to see what they can do to extricate themselves, to see if Rommel 
can pull a rabbit out of his hat. I think he's got an overrun capable, but with five, he's not going to overrun much. Um, all right, great. Uh, thanks for listening. And again, if I messed up any rules, let me know. But I've got the barrages in this time. Um, and I did the rounding right. I did roll for the leaders, and I rolled for the additional on the only two, you know, the one airstrike and the one barrage that worked. That's not good odds. Um, I did roll for losses. So, anyway, comments appreciated. Uh, if you like, click like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And thanks for listening, and we'll see you back here for the rest of the game.